and see this is the car have a look at the car when I'm pressing this the cars coming back so when you release this the car stops so when you want to go front press this thing it's going front yeah Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, guys. This is your boy Karkid, and today I'm gonna show you the 2021 BMW 7 Series. This is a 740Li. This is the sticker. Have a look. Model year 2021. So this is actually a 2021 BMW 7 Series. I borrowed this car from Alvia Motors Sharjah here and they are one of the biggest BMW dealers in Sharjah. They have amazing car collection of BMWs and they got all new BMWs. So I'll post their links in the description. You can visit their website and have a look at the cars collection they have. Talking about the price of the BMW 7 Series this bmw starts from eighty six thousand eight hundred dollars and uae it starts from the five hundred and seven thousand so guys let's go in the history of the bmw 7 series the first seven series were produced in 1977 to 87 that was the first generation from 86 to 94 there was a second generation from 94 to 2001 there was a third generation 2001 to 2008 there was a fourth generation from 8 to 15th it was a fifth generation and from 15 to the present you have this one the sixth generation of the bmw 7 series before moving i have to show you the amazing key of the bmw 7 series have a look at this key we got an amazing key with the screen on it and when you unlock the car yeah, this is the BMW logo. When you press it, the car locks. When you unlock, there is a lock unlock button here. Press it, the car will be unlocked. You got many options at the screen. So guys, at this remote, let me show you from close view this. When you have this remote, this is the unlock button. This is the lock button. You got a, a trunk open button and you got this parking button here. How you work? This is a remote you can unlock the car you got options for unlocking and locking you can close your windows your sunroof with this one when you swipe on the right you got this vehicle information then at the right more you got range information it's showing like 87 kilometers now you got the temperature you can set the temperature as well and rc parking what is this how it works i'll show you from outside Starting from the engine, you got 3.0 liters V6 twin turbocharged engine and it produces 335 horsepower, 0 to 100 in 5.6 seconds. On the front of the BMW 7 Series, you got a very, very good facelifted 7 Series BMW. You got a new LED BMW lights. You can also have the laser lights which the BMW introduced in BMW i8. You can order that one for yourself. And you got kidney grills in this BMW. What is the kidney grill? This thing, see, the BMW, the grill is now closed. So when the car starts and the car is heated, so it needs some air, these grills open automatically and close automatically whenever it needs the air coming into the engine. Have a look how they open. side look you got very very nice typically bmw uh, rims there at the front at the back and you got this style this is a hockey style line here you can see it's a black one you got the m power sticker at the left and it's a very long car because it's long wheel based l i you got a soft closing doors as well when you keep the doors like this it closes automatically this is the rear look of the car and when you unlock it have a look at the lights the switch on like that and you got very nice led lights you got 740 logo there and of course you can open the trunk by clicking the button under these lights and you have a storage space here you can close it once like this 
so guys moving into the interior look at the doors and the finish and the wooden style here you have amazing finished buttons you got amazing interior with the BMW here and you go, you know the BMW is like they have good material quality everything I have unwrapped the seats to show you guys because this is still a 2021 car and it's a zero kilometer but I have unwrapped one seat to show you and look at the interior design like wooden finish it starts from the opposite door it comes on the dashboard here look at this dashboard it goes all the way and it ends up on the other two doors this is the steering wheel it is an amazing one with the silver finish buttons here you got a uh, infotainment screen you got amazing start and stop button with the wooden finish in it and guys the quality as i said it's amazing look at the diamond stitching on the armrests and the seats this is amazing guys starting from the steering here you got a very nice steering here you got a gauge cluster you can't really change the gauge cluster it will be the same in different modes as well you got some buttons here for the drive assist and cruise control system here you got buttons here to control the volume you got the pedal shifters as well moving on to the right you got the start stop button here with the amazing finish wood finish here you got lights this is the ambient lights and you got the infotainment screen you got this one this button here it's called the intelligent safety when you press this thing here it will show you on the screen intelligent safety so uh, the car is here with the green lights when you switch it on it helps you when you run the car on the road so is there if there is any danger it will uh, give you a warning that you got some cars near you and they want to hit you so please be careful this is the intelligent safety you can switch it off as well but switch it on for better performance for from bm next thing is when you come down here you got this little screen with the blue and red lights here you can actually change your temperature settings with this screen this is a touch screen see when i'm getting it to the red it's showing me warmer and at the left it's showing me colder so down you got the in uh, stereo system here and it's similar to the rolls royce cullinan I have explained it to you when you touch this thing here at the screen top it will show you which station or which thing is this button button assigned to so you can save your different station and when you keep the finger here it will show you that this button is assigned for blah blah channel okay you got a climate control options here you can control you can adjust the climate uh, temperature from here and this screen you can see this is a touch screen you can adjust it by touching this thing also you got heated and ventilation seats as well here both at the passenger side and the driver side here you got a uh, gear lever you got different buttons here you got different modes on these buttons you can press the sport so the gauge cluster will change you got this comfort and the eco pro it doesn't change really but it shows you on the screen with the car that this is the comfort mode this is sports mode so anyways moving on next to this console it's a very nice finished with the wooden and it's so so smooth when you move it it's very smoothly moving you got cup holders you got usb ports the charger and you got the wireless charging here you can keep your phone and it will automatically start charging you can just close it by pushing like this and it will come like this as the next thing is when you go on the camera settings here when you press this thing or you drive the car in reverse so the camera will come automatically and you can see when i'm rotating the steering here the camera rotates in front with the steering wheel here this thing you can uh, find in many cars but the rare and unique thing is this when you put the car in the reverse like this the reverse camera also rotates with the steering wheel when you rotate it left and right so this is something unique you you won't find in uh, many cars and you got this car here have a look when i park the car parking so it show me the doors of the car so i have a car near by me at the right so it shows you not to open more than this uh, doors when you open more than this you will hit the other car this is something very nice 
Next thing is the reverse assist. When I click on this thing and when you want to try to get out, this is the car in the reverse. I don't have anything on the steering. When you go reverse, the car steers automatically and it gets you out from your parking. See, this is the reversing assistance of BMW 740Li 7 Series. So this is something amazing. Next thing is this one, the park assist. When you click on this, you are in the parking, the car will move and it will look for the parking. And if the car finds any empty parking, it will give you an indication that there is an empty parking so you can go and park your car in that parking. So this is something very, very nice and useful. Next thing, moving on to the infotainment screen, you got many options. You can control it with this mouse here. And when you go to the infotainment screen here, uh, look at the left when you go to the options. So you can go to car, you can go to the driver driving information. So it will give you different information about your journey, your trips and all that. Next thing is vehicle status. It will show you all the engine, oil, temperature, tire pressure settings. You can go to the settings. You have different settings in uh, this setting uh, option. You got general setting. In general setting, you can adjust each and everything of the car, like time, date, touch screen options, gesture control, driving attention camera, and every single thing. And the next thing is you got uh, next setting is driving modes. In driving modes, you can adjust the car performance, uh, the steering and all that, the settings you want in your, BM, in your BMW uh, 7 series. Next thing here is when you go to the exterior lighting, you can adjust your headlamp settings. In this one, you got driver assistance. You got safety warnings. As I showed you that button, it's linked with this one, intelligent safety. It helps you with this one. But the thing is, you can see this side clean warning you won't find in many cars you you find you found the front clean warning in many cars but not the side clean warning what it do that whenever some car is uh, trying to hit you from left or right so it detects and it gives you a warning and it keeps changing lane automatically when there is any danger so this is amazing option so you got speed assist you can adjust your speed warnings in it and parking uh, settings then you got display settings here. You can uh, change the head up display settings. You can go to the uh, brightness. You can go to the height. You can see this one. There is a head up display. If I change the height of this one, it's changing. I showed you in many, many cars. But regarding the head up display, I'll show you something. It shows you, uh, see the head up display closely. And I'll just try to, uh, try to, increase the size of the head-up display here and the brightness so you can understand easily look at the head-up display it shows you the speed limit of the road also it is 40 kilometers an hour and when you exceed the speed limit I'll show you when I'll drive the car it gives you a warning so this is something unique in BMW the next thing is the door vehicle access you can click on this thing and you can change the settings uh, of your doors mirrors and all that uh, by the way this is a soft closing door when you keep the door automatically it close you got the interior options you got ambient lights option you can have different colors in the bmw this is a blue now and when you select it to green it will change all into green have a look at this line it shows you on the screen as well so this option is in many cars i have seen it you got seat comfort driver seat passenger seat seat heating distribution okay what is the seat heating distribution? You can select individually for every part of the seat where you want the heated seats. This is amazing. Then you got climate control settings and you got key button assignment. You can assign your key with the different doors. Then you got diff, uh, driver's profile. You can save each and everything uh, in your profile setting and whenever next time you get in the car, the car will be in the same settings. So you got rear seats here, you got very nice doors, very nice door finish with the wooden here, wooden finish with the ambient light here. You got buttons for the shades. You can control your shades. Have a look at that door. When I press this button from here, so it comes up, the shades comes up like this. You can switch 
on here as well this way so when you press it again it comes down and you got very very nice rear looking seats you got two big screens at the back you can control all the options which i showed you front in the infotainment screen from this screen as well you got here the climate control screen for you guys here back side and you got a center console here with the very nice wooden finish you got seat buttons you got an extra tab for your seats to have different options i'll show you now so guys in this small tab you can control everything you can take it out and you can control the climate comfort you got sun protection seats and interior lighting option in it click on the sun protection you can see you have all the sun shades on your sunroof back doors so just one click and it will close all have a look at the right the back side and the front sunroof and you can click it open all so it will open all automatically so this is something very nice the next thing here is the climate comfort you can go to the rear climate you can go to the front climate you can adjust the temperature and you can adjust the seat temperature itself as well in this one as i explained it to you the climate control settings then again you go to the car overview you go to the interior light settings you got ambient lights you can control with this one you got different colors here you got like when you click on the orange it is turning to the orange you got blue it will turn to the blue have a look this side so you got green and different colors you got here in this one this is the climate control settings here uh, it's ambient light setting here in the interior light settings when you go there you got ambient highlight what is the ambient highlight you see this thing here this is the ambient highlight this thing on the pillar so you can switch it on or you can switch it off when i switch it on it's on but it's a very light very light so you can switch it off it will go off again like this when you go on to the car overview you got seat setting here when you click on the seat setting here go on the seat setting at the right corner you will see some seats okay you can individually select seat like this see i have selected the uh, seat near me right side and you got some orange uh, dots here on the seats so specifically what part of the seat you want to control you can click on that suppose this one i have clicked here you can move it individually like when i click this one see i'm moving this and this seat is moving front and back it will start moving now see this thing is moving so you can control your seat parts different parts of the seat and you can control it like this also from here so all the complete seat you can move it like this you can move front and back you can control the front seats as well with this one it's really amazing thing that you can control front seats as well with this small tab here you can go to the seat settings here you can adjust the seat climate also from this thing have a look seat heating on one to three position seat heating distribution the passenger side and your side so this is very 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 nice thing in here this is the left this is the right so guys you have seen the starlight roof in rolls royce but this is called the bmw roof lights what is that you got a sunroof and you got a little tiny light here in the sunroof i have to wait to show you this uh, very long because it's uh, only can be seen in the night time and i'm here in the bmw right now and have a look at the lights how amazing it looks the color changes with the ambient light color so now it's selected to green have a look at the infotainment screen when i select to other color so it changes with that color have a look this is the blue and when you select it to orange so it turns into orange light so this is the bmw 7 series 
740 Li. Okay, beside that, you can talk to BMW as well. Hello, BMW. Good evening. What can I help you with? Can you change the ambient light color, please? Which color shall I set for the interior light? Mm, okay, change it to the blue. Please say the desired light color. Blue. I selected the light color blue with contouring in blue. Have a look, guys. This is amazing. <laughs> this was the BMW 7 Series. Let's go for a drive and find out how it feels when you drive this beautiful, amazing luxury sedan. Uh, let's go for driving of uh, this BMW 7 Series. You know the BM is luxury car. So, actually, when I press the pedal for a sedan car like BMW and sort of luxury sedan, this is too much power because it has a turbocharged engine 3.0 and you got uh, eight cylinders as well in this one. So you got a very, very, very good powerful engine in this sedan. It's so smooth as always and it got lane uh, assist also. Whenever you're going out of the lane, the car assists you that come in. It's kind of pulling the steering into the lane that keep in lane. So the BM. have a look at the head-up display you can see the speed limit that is 40 kilometers per hour of this road okay so the car is going like 20 uh, 30 32 kilometers per hour so when I will exceed the 40 kilometers see it's red the speed it's red so the car is warning you that you are exceeding the road limit by this speed so you have to slow down again whenever you go like more than like the speed limit of the road the car tells you that slow down so guys the rc parking option i'll show you this is the remote there is a rc parking option press it to activate so when it is activated it will ask you to press this button parking button press it and it will show you this engine start stop button press the button the car will start and it will give you this message on screen it's showing you a message watch surroundings and brake by releasing park button see so press ok and see this is the car have a look at the car when I'm pressing this the cars coming back so when you release this the car stops so when you want to go front press this thing it's going front yeah release it the car will stop automatically man amazing thing this one so guys this was the bmw 7 series hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more upcoming videos this is your boy car kid signing off peace out